I'm Phoenix Wright, and I read the autopsy. Objection! Objection. Not the report. Not the autopsy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew isn't very good. <laughs> Contains a blatant contradiction. What? But I remember it just like it was yesterday. I didn't try to block this from my mind at all, like I claimed mere minutes ago. <laughs> well, she wants to forget it, doesn't mean she has. Mr. Wright? Perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. When have I ever done things the fast way, Your Honor? What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? The tip, Your Honor. <laughs> Just the tip. Oh my god. Take that! <laughs> the contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see its tip is broken. Even I don't have to look closely to see that, Mr. Wright. I know a broken tip when I see one. <laughs> But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. Gladly. Get me out of this conversation. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too. Oh god. <laughs> Stop saying that word. <laughs> if, if I recall, <laughs> the tip of the knife was found broken <laughs> off in the victim's body. Wonk. <laughs> <laughs> It was the conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. Mm -mm. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Objection. Objection! And where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken. Ah! What's the meaning of Objection. this? Objection! Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Objection. Objection! Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right! But what does Objection. the Objection! The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. I'm not listening to the judge at all this case. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. Objection! Objection! That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at the time. But she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Objection! Objection! Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence? I've never falsified evidence in my life. You're <laughs> treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife tip might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. Ah! We're all chattering now. <laughs> order! 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 No. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. Would Gant have killed someone with the lance from the fucking award? 
<laughs> just a thought. I, I don't. <laughs> it was a halberd, not a lance, but yeah. <laughs> Well, it is my cool. belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. Hmm. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. Hmm. There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? If, mm. I, if I had a nickel for every time someone was stabbed with a broken knife, in this case, <laughs> I'd have two nickels. Which isn't very which many, isn't but it is which weird that it happened many. twice. And it would certainly help with the rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's. Could there have been one? I believe so. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by a simple observational error. Mr. Wright! In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume, then, that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. Uh, my attorney's badge is the murder weapon. Sorry, guys. It's the yep. blue badger. Yep, the blue badger did it, Your Honor. <laughs> I mean... Okay, so Sarah Beth may have been onto something. <laughs> Look! Would we show that? I guess... We'd probably the... show something the that shows that removed? it had the halberd. What does the... Because it does say the halberd was removed in the, like, description of it. Yeah, but it doesn't show that That's on true. it. But, like, the picture, maybe? There's also the fucking halberd that is night is holding, but... Um. I feel like the, the picture, probably. Take that! Because he went straight there, so... The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. This is a picture of the award ceremony. Ah! <laughs> he just fucking screams! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Unrelatable. It's the... the broken murder weapon! Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding, and try to keep it together. <laughs> That's... a broken knife! No! As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was in all likelihood from this award. Oh my god, so more knives? In this fucking like case with so knives. many knives already? Order! Can order! Order! So many knives, it's been like two, three. As many orders as there are knives. There's like <laughs> four knives. Neil Marshall was awarded King of Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. Objection! But that... that can't be. Oh, That's and... a knife. And why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors Award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... This man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh! 
Please stop making me scream. But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. My roommates are home. That's true. What's Congrats going on roommates. here? No, I mean like, please stop making me scream. They're here. And they will hear me. <laughs> it seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Dun dun. Wait! I... I remember now. I remember everything. Witness? God, why are all the witnesses in this game like that? Mr. Edgeworth. What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? <clears throat> the one with that picture scribbled on the back? Disgusting. I will not. That picture? Man? I knew it. That is not a man. This picture. It's bipedal and featherless. Fuck. I'm the one who drew it. The older man. <laughs> what? You drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture! Oh, <laughs> copyright infringement! <laughs> God, this song! There it is. All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. Me too. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be, would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. <laughs> would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Skye? Let's not, and say we did. Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix-up, and now the blue badger? This should be interesting. If this was drawn so long ago, why does the blue badger exist? She invented it. <laughs> when I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed towards both of them. I think I... I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw... the blue badger! He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. This is a ghost Fucking story. Fucking Batman? <laughs> Badger man. This is certainly the most unusual. Objection. Try most impossible. unusual objection. No, that was a pretty normal objection. The chief of detectives hadn't even designed him until this year. Uh, well, Edgeworth, we think much alike. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Yes, well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. <laughs> Speed. Stop. Please, don't pursue this any further. New sprite. Lana! Uh Bowing. What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. The like, I will say, one of the things that Ace Attorney does incredibly well is the breakdown sprites. Like, that's oh always my God, some yeah. good shit. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Oh. Chief Prosecutor Sky. He has really pretty eyes. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Too late to apologize. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> the defense will now begin its cross examination. Oh boy. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. Jesus. Yes, sir. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter.
Let me get my pressing cue finger ready. Hold it! When you say, that man, I assume you refer to Joe Dark? Yes. At least, I think it was him. You think? All I could really see were shadows. The power outage that immediately preceded the incident is also documented in the prosecutor's office reports. So then you... Hold it! Why would you do something so dangerous? What else could I have done? He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But have, as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. When that Dark guy t knocked me down, all I could think was, I've got to help that other person. Aww. Mm. Hold it! What do you mean, you think? It... it all happened so fast, and I was in shock. I don't remember everything clearly. What I did, it's all kind of a blur. Miss Skye was almost killed before she was witness to a murder about to take place. With so much happening in a matter of seconds, a little disorientation is only natural. He would know. How dare I you? I saw the man about to stab the other person, who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stop the man with the knife. What you did was very brave, young girl. So then, what happened next? Why you gotta call her young girl? You know her name. <laughs> yeah. Hold it! What the fuck? Are you sure about this? Of course. See? I even drew a picture of him here. I don't want to see it again. But... It was the chief of detectives who thought up this hideous beast. And that was just this year. The Blue Badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. I hate We've this all so seen him much. Before. Now nightmares. I finally remember. Oh, brother. Just when you thought that thing had caused enough commotion. <clears throat> Tell us, where in the room did you see him dancing? <laughs> <laughs> Out of guys, context, guys. Ace Attorney. He's behind me. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> just. I'm sorry, I just. Oh no. Mm. Hold it! His shadow? God. So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning smile and all? <laughs> That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. Objection. Objection! This is pointless. Like that knife. This thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. Objection! Objection. That may well be. But what's important <clears throat> is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation? If so, then by all means, please tell us what this shadow really was. What was it Emma saw when that lightning flashed? Who is this blue badger really? <laughs> what? Do we know, guys? Uh, or are we not sure? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we gotta say we know, I mean, and then we're gonna say that we know. Oh. We got a blue. I currently know. I know, but uh, I'm gonna keep that to myself. The blue badger hadn't even been dreamt up when Emma drew this picture. 
yet she's certain she saw its shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright! Me! <laughs> he used to have three spikes instead of, like, eight. <laughs> when he was but a youth. In this room? Very well, Mr. Wright. It's actually Edgeworth. Two of the spikes are his bangs, and then the third one is the dunce cap that he wears when I'm done with him in court. The third <laughs> one is a steel samurai hat that he didn't want anyone to know he was wearing. <laughs> what was it that the witness saw in that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look-alike. Oh boy. It's the blue badger. It is Nailed it. <laughs> it is Mike Meekins. <laughs> um, and what other evidence? What evidence do we have that we haven't used? We have so much evidence. I feel like we've Whoa. used this entire page, though. Here's the freshest evidence. The vase? The vase? The vase? Guys, those are some really weirdly shaped handles. That, uh, I dare say, the ends of... Are a blue badger-esque. I, I, you on. know? Take that! The mysterious blue badger was in fact this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> but there that's... Is a uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. But Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the Blue Badger. Indeed it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? <laughs> Who? Our, our viewpoint? I gotta show them the correct angle to look at this from. I'm horrified. Your Honor, I'm gonna rotate a vase. Rotate it. Maybe it's time for the worst technology. I'm gonna be honest, I don't. Oh, I do have the list. That's fine. Man, give me a second. Hold, oh, man, hold on a second. All these turnabouts and you can't even turn a vase, Mr. Wright? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was, that was good. good. <laughs> Thank you, that was the best one. They only get worse from here. Oh, well, you've got time. I really wouldn't expect this evidence to be so evasive for you, Mr. Wright. Fuck! <laughs> I presented it! Shit! This isn't right! I've gotta make it look more like the badger! Objection! Allow me to remind the defense its case hinges on not accidentally pressing E. If Mr. Wright can't match the shape the witness drew, we cannot accept his claim. I've gotta find just the right angle. Maybe I should rotate it vertically a bit more, or horizontally? Come on, Mr. Wright, you can do it! I've gotta show them the correct angle to look at this- I'm sorry. Look, okay, I am rotating with fucking Q, R, H, N, B, and M. Guess what letter is in between Q and R on the keyboard? E! The present oh, no. button! Awful. <laughs> Having a finger on Q and a finger on R is so profoundly uncomfortable. No. I'm really glad this vase looks like an urn because we're gonna need somewhere to put my ashes by the time you're done. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> These are good! And it's very These good to hear them in the judge's so voice. Good. These are extremely good. I really hope no one needed to display any flowers, because this vase won't be free for a while. <laughs> okay, uh... No, this... no... Uh... That looks right. But... Uh, I need to not have a hole in the handles. Is this good? Mr. Wright, I have to recommend you don't take up pottery, because spinning vases doesn't seem to be your strong suit. <laughs> 
fucking glad I mentioned that you would need to roast me for this base. This is incredible. How many of these do you have? That's it, I'm out. Okay, I'm gonna present it. Very good. Take that! Fuck! <laughs> no! <laughs> Objection, you're a fucking idiot. You don't know how to rotate a base in court. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm sorry, I didn't know. <sighs> Oh no. <laughs> Someone else has got to think up roasts now. I'm really trying. It's just not I've done my part. Maybe it's got to be like angled back that. farther. Yeah. I will. I tried this. Okay. Like this? Yeah. No, no, no. Wait. Go back to what it was. Huh? Like I this? saw it. Second. No. The opposite direction. Oh, fuck. The, no. The like, I'm trying. Direction. Yes. Now up to yeah, do like that's there. Closer. Try that. Take that. Oh, thank God. Oh. Heck yeah. <laughs> Wipes the sweat from my brow. <laughs> well, <laughs> is this a miracle or what? <laughs> it is certainly a miracle that you finished it. No one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. No. It can't be! Wow, the blue badger! Why are you so distressed? Yeah, order! Order! order. Did you like my roast? I loved them. I loved them. They were really good. Incredible. The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Objection! Objection. Although we all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? <laughs> what do you mean? You enjoyed my performance? So that badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. Objection! Mm -mm. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see... This changes everything. Indeed. Very well, then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? Don't all of these change? Well... I mean, she still drew the knife. But I guess that could have been stained. Okay, so the murder weapon... Wait. Because the tip of the knife was found in Neil Marshall's wound, but we did determine that the murder weapon seems like it was probably the, the fucking halberd or whatever. Yeah. The, mur the murder... You know what's okay. actually different? Emma should be suing because she invented the blue badger.